What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi and today I'm going to be showing you this brand new Fusion toy hauler model 429 coming at you 44 feet length with a driveway that as this unit here sits of 15,000 740 pounds so definitely one ton or above on the towing capacity but before we get started thanks again to all the new subscribers that have come to the channel i greatly do appreciate it continue to subscribe i do my best to upload at least one or two videos per week sometimes three just depending on how the weather here in mississippi is going lately it's been kind of crazy so let's get so started. i feel like i need to start here in the actual living area to show you just you know how awesome of a fifth wheel this thing actually is it's really hard to distinguish the fine line between a toy hauler, which you wouldn't think would be just so, I don't know, luxurious, most luxurious compared to, you know, a luxury fifth wheel. It's just quite amazing at the seating arrangement, the kitchen arrangement, and even all the counter space this thing actually has. So what you're looking at, L-shaped recliners here, recliner and recliner. That is a permanent one. That's not, that one there is not gonna recline these two are in fact heated and massage over here on the other side both of those are in fact slides uh slides oh gosh i'm getting tongue twisted already and i just started both of those are recliners heated and massage and they even have the removable trays here for, you know that way you have a place to eat no table in this unit because they have provided all the eating trays and you even have connections for trays there and there I have the massaging on this one turned on at the moment. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Quick view of all the controls. So you got heat, the lights for the cup holder and underneath, and that's gonna be the massage feature there. Fully blackout shades throughout the whole entire coach except for the garage. Those are in fact the slow rise. Tons and tons of counter space. Solid surface countertops in the kitchen. The bathroom is gonna have more of the press membrane and the half bath option in the back will have just your standard Flamica counter countertop. Stainless steel drop-in sink. This is just one solid mass sink, kind of deep as well. High rise faucet with the spray, you know, the pull down spray port there. And I really like how they've done the backsplash. So they continue from the counter all the way to the top. You know, cause if you're a messy person like me, I'm gonna get that stuff everywhere. All of your controls are done in one in command unit here. Standard code from the factory, one, two, three, four. That can be switched once you actually get it in your possession. You control your tank heaters, your HVAC, all of your leveling, slide operations, and everything can be done from here nicely. But you don't have to worry about the grandkids coming over if it's in the locked position. You know, they can only access, you know, just the lights in the bottom. Super nice. All of the cabinets are hardwood, is in fact hot solid wood. None of the uh, the press membrane kind of stuff. It's just super, super nice. And I'm pretty sure I'm about to butcher the name of this refrigerator, but I'm gonna give it a shot. 18 cubic foot hair is the brand. H-A-E-R. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. And I do have all the packing and you know, stuff in here still, so do excuse the mess. I have not had the opportunity to come out here just yet and remove any of that. Stainless steel appliances throughout. 21 inch oven so you do have a little bit of room in there you know to get things done and they've even provided the matching drawer on the bottom for all of your pots and pans stainless steel high point convection microwave i got tongue twisted again goodness gracious and i just love the island here just loads and loads of actual you know prepping space and let's point out all the actual cabinets look at that just loads of space, you know, cabinet space. Yeah, even the, the accent light on the, on the top, super nice to have. This unit does come with a loft bed on the top, but most of the time that loft bed does in fact get utilized for just for, you know, storage space. There is a ladder provided so that you can get up there. You don't want little Johnny attempting to jump from the counter all the way up on the top, but I wouldn't put it past my son to do that. Unit does have three slides, three air conditioners, and this new climate system they have in these things where you can actually utilize all three of the air conditioners at once and a lot of its competitors that have three air conditioners you can only operate two airs so you have to shut one off to utilize the third the new climate control system in this one you can in fact use all three airs at one time they were will work in in, in sync with each other 
So here in the master bathroom, porcelain toilet, give that to tap, solid fiberglass shower, one piece so you don't have to worry about water seeping its way through the seams. And they've even added some kind of like nice little decor on the back there. Still have the foot, you know, the, excuse me, the seat with all the different shelves and, you know, built in. So I'm six foot two. Let me show you how much counter, or counter space. I'm just all kind of tongue twisted today. A little bit of, you know, elbow room. It's not as big as some of the other units we may have, but it's a toy hauler. We try to maximize every bit of space you possibly can find. Medicine cabinet here that does open up, giving you just a little bit of storage space. And check out the, the faucet here. That's that's different. That's nice too. 70 by 80 on the bed size. Washer and dryer connections up in the master bedroom closet here. This one will open up as you see, and this one here is a slide. So if you don't want the washer and dryer, you definitely have tons of room. But if, if you didn't want the washer and dryer, that unit right there would in fact come out. Looks like a shiplap kind of accent on the headboard back there with the day and night shades. Get your two LED lights on the above. And over here, you got more closet space. These are sliding doors. I've got them opened up now. So just tons and tons of hanging room. And as always, you do in fact still have the storage underneath the bed. Unit will come standard with three t televisions, one in the master bedroom, one in the living room, and one in the actual garage itself. So back here in the garage, you're looking at a 12 foot six cargo area, all the way from that wall, all the way back here to where the ramp actually starts at. You do in fact have the sliding glass doors there with the safety tinted glass, 80% tint, and these will in fact slide up and down. I got this one up and that one down, so you can definitely tell the difference with the, the tint being there. And as you can tell, that one's a little bit darker because the window pane is down. All of the bunks at the moment, I've got them all the way up, showing you just the maximum cargo space, but these will lay flat and I will get to that just in a moment. And that one there's on the roof. Once again, this does come with a half bath option. So all of your guests can be back here in the back and not have to worry about tracking in and out. Do in fact have the glass door here, tenant safety glass as well. So you don't have to worry about that shattering on you if you accidentally get slammed by little Johnny. Portion of foot flush, flush, foot flush toilet here in the master bath. And once again, you got the standard Formica countertops here. That's not the press membrane. Coming out to the actual patio area, the sliding glass doors, they slide open as such. And there is a little lever. I hope you can see that there. You can pull, which will open these up. Just don't open them quite as hard as Drew did. The yellow safety lantern, that there is in the event that you maybe forget your keys. This back ramp is key operated from the outside. So if you forget your keys, just come inside, give that a tug and that will allow you to open up your back ramp there. So 1500 pound low capacity if the legs are not down. I'll show you what those legs looks like here in a moment, but you got a safety cable on both sides. This one over here, I've got to remove so you can have the access to the steps going in and out. But with the legs down, you're looking at 3000 pounds in the low capacity, but 1500 if those legs are not down, but I definitely will show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and get these bunks laid down, get all this set up. And we'll be back. All right, so we got both of the side seating arrangements lifted all the way up, and the controls that let everything down are just right up here. Simple press of a button. Both of those bunks are going to come down. You can arrange them however you see fit. You can also leave the top bunk on the top, so you can just have a seating arrangement on the bottom. So I'm going to get this down, and I'll show you what that looks like. Now it's laid out into its full sleeper configuration. Sleeping room for two on the bottom, two on the top. And there is, you notice there's a bump. Because there is a removable table underneath here. So when you're in transit, that's where that table goes. I'm gonna get these things set up now to where the bunks on the top goes back to the top and these are gonna turn into a couple of, uh, I don't know, sectional. So if you don't wanna bring the toys along and you're just looking for more seating or sleeping, this is definitely the way to go. You got the bunk on the top already out of the way. These two are set up in, this, in a full seating arrangement. I went ahead and got that table down from the top and got it here at the bottom. Well, let me show you one cool thing as well. I didn't point out earlier, the TV here, watch this. So you don't have to worry about breaking your neck. 
when you're sitting down here at the table with your feet kicked up. So here on the outside of the unit, you're looking at 44 feet in length, three slides, two on the actual, I call this the passenger side. You got the bedroom slide up in the front, plus the dining room slide there as well, giving you the maximum amount of light flow throughout. Tenant safety glass throughout, 80% tent, eight foot cargo ramp on the back. And right now I've got it turned into a patio. And these are the legs I was referencing earlier. If these legs are down, 3,000 pound low capacity, but if they are up and out of the way, and the aircraft cable is down, you're looking at 1,500 pounds capacity. This is what the cable actually looks like. I have it down on this side just to show you. Those are fully removable there. And it's pretty cool how they're giving you the little leveling bubble there to assist you with leveling. Fully retractable ladder, so you got a fully walkable roof, 3 8 decking, 5 8 tongue and groove on the floors. Fuel cell, you have two 30 gallon fuel cells with the built-in fuel station as well. So either you can bring 60 gallons for your generator or 30 for your generator and 30 for your toys. Totally up to you. 16-inch radio tires by Goodyear. Three axles. And they've even upgraded the suspension on this bad boy here. Giving you that much more of a smoother ride by more ride. That rubber bushing in there definitely does help. Six-point hydraulic leveling. All of your dumping is done from one location right here. So that is super nice with it being a bath and a half and only having to utilize one connection, one hose to do all the work. Up here in the front, you got a 12 gallon gas and electric hot water heater. And here's all the controls for your water management system. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, red, white, and blue, our colors all run. How about that? really easy to read all your hydraulic leveling system controls is pretty self-explanatory the simple press of that automatic leveling button in this coachable fat level itself king pins made by rotaflex so you do have that bushing in there sorry about the light the sun's going down here in mississippi so i'm going to work with what i have at the moment onad generator right here in the front i wish they would have built like a little latch to hook that on but work with what you got right coach has three different awnings one up here on the front of the coach is 14 foot that's going to pretty much cover that whole entire slide and the entry door but back there in the back you got another 10 foot awning on the back with it being a toy hauler this unit here they couldn't put the the flip up steps by step above you know these will flip up but on the back you can't really do that these are going to tuck underneath that way you have maximum cargo space underneath the back. And you got the rear awning on the back there as well. LED lights built in underneath all the awnings. One quick tip for you, because this garage is sealed up so nice and tight, leave the door open when you close the garage. It allows that air to actually push its way through. But let me show you how easy this thing is. One handed guys, it's that easy. You can't build the new zero gravity ramp door. I think that just about wraps it up. Once again, guys, thanks so much for all the new subscribers to the page. Please continue to subscribe. Leave me a comment. I definitely will answer all of your comments in the comment section. Come see me.